this is the story of a father and his three children how they fight over the division of property of 17 camels so watch this act very attentively to see one of the quality of leadership that is solving the problem <laughs> Nowadays what has happened to me, my legs and the body is not supporting me. I have become so old that I cannot even walk properly. I think my end of the days is near. Is there anyone nearby me? Can you hear me? Can you call my children? I need them. Surely sir. Just a minute, I will call them. All of you listen, your father's health is not so good. He is very serious. Please go and meet him. He is calling you all. In that we will come afterwards. No, this is my laddu. No, this is my laddu. No, this is my laddu. I made this laddu. So what? But idea was mine. Sorry sir, they are not coming. They are fighting for a piece of blood too. I have nothing much such as property. Please go and tell them that I want to divide my property. My precious 17 camels among them. Okay sir, once again I will go and tell them. Your father is calling you very urgently. He wants to divide property. Property, that's good. Let's all stop fighting and go to meet our father. My dear children, I don't know how long I live. But before going, I want to divide my property of 17 camels among you. I have written everything on the will. Where is the last will? Don't worry, here is the will your father gave. Give me, I will read, but I don't know how to read. Give me, I will try to read. Not even a single word I am understanding. Help you. In this will it is written, I am dividing my property of 17 camel among my children. My elder son will get half of 17 camel, the middle will get one third of 17 camel and my daughter will get one ninth of 17 camel. What kind of will is this? This is nonsense. It's a big confusion how to divide it. I am elder, I should get more. No, no, I should get more. No, I I should get more. Stop fighting. I have a plan. We have a leader. Let's go and meet her. She can help us. Why are you all disturbed? What is the problem? You can share with me. We are not able to divide the property of 17 camel among us. Please help us. We are in trouble. We are confused what to do. This is very easy. You said you have 17 camels and to which I am adding my new camel. Now tell me how many camels are there? 17 plus 1. Now there are 18 camels. That's great. Now let us read the wheel accordingly. Eldest son, how much you supposed to get? I suppose to get half of 17 camels. Okay then, what is the half of 18? Yes, it is 9. So you will get 9 camels. How 
How much you supposed to get younger son? I supposed to get one third of the 17 camels. Okay, after adding one of my camel to your 17, the one third of 18 is 6. So you will get 6 camels. Now, can you please read your will dear daughter? I suppose you do get one ninth of the 17 camels. Okay then, one ninth of 18 is 2. So you will get 2 camels. Now, can you all tell me what is the sum of 9 plus 6 plus 2? It is 17. So, in the beginning, you had 17 camels, right? And I had added one camel also. So, I am taking it back. Your problem is solved. Have a good day to you. Dear friends, the message from the story is very simple. How much big the problem is. But when we are calm, when we are aware, we can solve any problem. And it is the quality of a leader to have a presence of mind and think about the different ways and ideas of solving problem.